We're back at it. Just like I said, I told you last week, right? I said, we'll be here again next week for Tune In Tuesday. And here we are. Well, here I am. Right now, we're waiting for Dennis to get back. Um, yep, so go ahead and start start sending in your hellos. Dennis is running a little late, but that's okay. Sometimes we run late. It's all right. We're going to get started with hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. to Jessica. I'm glad you're here today. And apparently Dennis. I'm glad you're here today. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to Lucy. I'm glad you're here today. And hello to Charlotte. I'm glad you're here Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to Brad. Hey, that's me. I'm glad I'm here today. Hello to Brad. I'm glad I'm here today. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We got anybody else? I'd love to say hello to people. I know we've got some regular viewers, and I've got I've got the person in my earbuds too. Hello to Amanda. Glad you're here today. Saying things in my ear. I'm glad you're here today. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, Dennis, I wanted to sort of tell everyone why you were late today. And again, it's okay to be late. But Dennis was late today because he's going to school, they're going to school, to become an art therapist. So, like, I'm a music therapist when I'm not doing Tune In Tuesday. I do a lot of other things. So, Dennis is going to school to become an art therapist. So, let's do our art. We'll do our normal routine. We actually skipped a couple of steps here. I am Brad. You know me if you've tuned in before, if you're just tuning in for the first time. I am Brad. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm this just like tall white guy, brown hair, green eyes, and I'm wearing a returning color, a, a maroon uh, turtleneck. So, if you've tuned in before, you know that I've been a little stressed about running out of turtleneck colors, I realized I can just wear a, the same turtleneck a different week. It's easy. It was like, oh. Den it was actually, it was Dennis's idea because the color theory thing, like co colors and all that kind of stuff. So he was like, well, just like, they were just like, wear, wear that, that same one again. So, and Dennis, who has just appeared on the screen, um, is a yellow dinosaur, long tongue, red tongue, and these beady little red eyes. Um, and Dennis can like scrunch their face up like, and then like let it, they do all kinds of different movement. Um, Dennis likes to be called they, I did a bad job of that today, uh, but I like to be called he. Um, and now we're just gonna get right to it. If there are other hellos, if you'd like for me to say hello to you, it's right on our schedule here. It's right on our tune in to do. And I'm holding up a piece of paper here that says, tune in Tuesday to do. And the first thing was hello. So if you want me to say hello to you, I'm going to say hello to you. Just drop it in that comments box and we will get it going. Um, oh, and I don't know if you see here, Dennis has this awesome journal. I, Dennis, I found your journal. Dennis has a Dennis journal that they made and that they try to eat sometimes. Don't do that. Stop doing that. I put the idea in their head. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So that's that. Nice drawings go in there. Notes from school, all that kind of stuff. All right. Well, let's let's get our tune in Tuesday to do back out. Speaking, speaking of Dennis, on my list here, I've got number two, and it says friend for Dennis. We've been trying to do this for a long time now, and I think it's especially important because Dennis is trying to go to school, 
And when you go to school, a lot of the time you see a lot of people, because other people go to school too. And so you're going to see all those people. I mean, ra raise your hand if you've ever gone to school and you've seen another person. Yeah, I can't see you raising your hand, so I just assume that some of you did, and maybe some of you didn't. That's your experience. So let's, let's get into it a little bit. Dennis was getting along one day. He was happy and tall, and he wanted to play. He looked around as if to say, won't you be my friend today? Let's sing it again. Sing it with me. Dennis was getting along one day. He was happy and calm, and he wanted to play. He looked around as if to say, sing it with me, Dennis. Won't you be my friend today? So in the past, we've done a lot of different things, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a little bit of group participation. I'm gonna need your help. Because what we've got here is making a friend. It's a recipe for, for making an imaginary friend for Dennis. Because Dennis is only just starting to go to school. So Dennis is gonna need uh, some new friends. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna make some imaginary ones. So in the comments below, you can tell me what this friend's name is. You can tell me what the creature's name is or what the creature is, you can tell me what place they might come from. Could be uh, like a made up place or it could be a real place. Um, so it could be like Narnia or Middle Earth or it could be somewhere real like Jamaica or Ohio, I don't know. Um, it, two qualities, and what I mean by quality is like, what are they like? Are they smart? Are they funny? Are they green? Are they muscular? Are they, you know, whatever. So tell me what that is and then do they make a sound. Here's a fun word. Onomatopoeia. Let's sing it. Onomatopoeia. Sing it with me a little lower. Onomatopoeia. And let's sing it really high. Onomatopoeia. What does that mean? I don't, what is it? Dennis, what does onomatopoeia mean? Dennis says, well, that's what we're going to school for. It's a good idea to go to school. So, Onomatopoeia is a word that means a word that that is written like like a sound with sound. That's a hard thing. It's hard, but I'll give you some examples. Bam, wham, sploosh. I, all kinds of all kinds of things. If you were just like boing, that'd be an onomatopoeia. It's a word that sounds like what what it is. So, um, if you, there's a sound that you like for your creature, put it in the comments and it's gonna go right into this little earbud here. Maybe it'll go into this one too. The other thing that we're gonna need, I moved another little thing, we're gonna need a movement. Do they move? They don't have to. If they don't move, you just let me know and I'll just be like, no. But if they move, let me know what kind of move they do. Do they like, do they do the floss? That was bad. <laughs> do they dab? <laughs> it's hard to floss when you got a guitar in your hands. Try it sometime, buy a guitar. Go to the guitar store, get a guitar, or borrow someone's, or other, and go ahead and try that out. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to sing this again, and we're going to see. And if I have to just sort of fill in the, in the pieces, I'm going to. Dennis was getting along one day. He was happy and calm, and he wanted to play. He looked around as if to say, whoa. To be my friend today. Oh, and we've got. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to Julian Duck. We're glad you're here today. Hello to Julian Duck. We're glad you're here today. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh, and Frankie. Hello. Well, Frank, well right. Frankie got his own hello because it's happening right now. Hello to Frankie. I'm glad you're here today. Hello to Frankie. I'm glad you're here today. Hello. 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 Okay. All right, folks, come on, let's get a friend for Dennis. Let us make a friend today. What's their name? Yeah, I'm talking to you. 
Lucky. The voice in my ear says lucky. Hmm. For me, in my in my head, I I just immediately I saw a fish in my head. This is a lucky fish. And so, oh, you know, we're getting a couple friends. So we're gonna have a couple verses to sing here. I'm gonna write these things down in really bad um, handwriting that is gonna be hard to read when I'm singing it. But that's gonna be fine. I got that one down. We got Elsa the unicorn and we got Lucky the fish. So tell me in the comments, tell me about Elsa the unicorn, Audrey. Tell me about them. Are they, what are they like? Give me two things that they're like um, or a, a funny sound that they make and we'll fill in the rest. Oh yeah, El Lucy and Charlotte, if you, if what are they like? Each of you could give me one thing that they're like. They're like this or they're like that. Dennis wants to know. Dennis is looking like they want to know. So we'll, we'll wait We'll wait on that, and we're going to fill out our Lucky the Fish. Lucky the Fish is swift and erratic. Dennis is doing a good job of showing on the screen what erratic looks like. And it, to do that, they are shaking and vibrating as, as much as possible, just as much as possible. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. But we're going to draw these, too, later. We'll bring them to you on another another occasion. Oh, you know what? I could have been prepared. Cool. All right, we're just going to jump right into this one. Finally, Dennis, we got you some friends. Okay. Well, let's find him a friend. And we did. So we're going to sing it now. From the land of... Iceland, far away, a unicorn named Elsa came out to play. They were very funny and they liked to say. What did they like to say? Well, we'll let that be a blank for an... Woohoo! They said, woohoo! <laughs> Won't they be my friend today? Hello. To Christopher, he's got a guitar. Glad you're here today. Hello to Christopher. Glad you're here today. Hello, hello. Play along with me. Guitar solo. Go. Nice. Guitar solo. I assume those are the, the most amazing guitar solo you've ever heard. So like. <laughs> Because that's what a guitar solo sounds like, or it sounds like something else. But I'm glad Christopher's here. Dennis was getting along today. He was happy and tall, and he wanted to play. He looked around as if to say, sing with me. I know you know it by now. Oh, won't you be my friend today? It's okay to mess up on the guitar. From the land of Smorgobop, far away, a fish named Lucky swam out to play. They were swift and erratic, and they liked to say, blub, 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 do it with me. Blub, 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 Fishy, fishy, fish. I uh, won't they be my friend today. I don't know. Say it again. We did also the unicorn. Ooh, well, we're going to sing it again, right? From the land of Iceland. Her. Far away, a unicorn named Elsa came out to play. They were very funny, and they like to say jokes and things, because that's what you do when you're funny. Won't they be my friend today? I assume that that means that there's two unicorns named Elsa, and they're identical twins, and they, they're the 
exact same, even down to the name and the place, everything. So rule of three, because that's important in fairy tales and fantasy stuff in Iceland, uh, you ha now have, Dennis, three friends. You have a fish named Lucky and two identical Elsa unicorns, because we sang it twice. So now we, we sang them into existence twice. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, we're doing all kinds of silly stuff and we're kind of letting the wheels fall off and we're having a good time doing it. And we just made friends for Dennis. Um, I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can help Elsa and Lucky um, learn more about art therapy, you know, because that's what Dennis is going to school for. Is it? Is that the next yeah, we are going to show you. Uh, you know what? I encourage you. If you're going to tune in next week, I'm pointing. That's rude. Um, if you're going to tune in next week, show, send us to put in that little comment box there. Send us a picture of what Elsa the Unicorn looks like. Something to work on this week. Or re imagine for yourself Lucky the Fish and put them put them in the comments next time or this time if you're like a really fast artist and you could just do that. Um, we're going to make – Dennis and I are going to do a drawing together. And we're going to share it with you next week, we hope. We assume that we're going to do that, right? So now we should stick to our tune in to do because we're going to run out of time like we do every week. We're going to sing a blues song. It's time to do the blues. I say enthusiastically, almost happily, and I just threw a piece of paper. Some, did you throw that piece of paper? Oh, all right. So. The blues. What's the blues like? Well, I'll, sh I'll show you what it's like. It's like this. like mine it was a, uh, I wrote Dennis I wrote that just an hour ago while you were in your class I was thinking about how much I miss Dennis it made me feel sad it gave me the blues so that's what we do so for the blues in that comment box we're gonna need three things well four things we'll just piece it together with whatever we get well I ain't something you like like in this case it was a seeing Dennis that's something that I like and so that's what I put in the box. Well, I ain't seen Dennis since I, or since something, like something happened and it made it so that we can't do the thing we like anymore. Maybe that rings a bell for our current situation. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and we're gonna repeat that line and then we're gonna say, yeah, I'm feeling so, give me a feeling. Even if it's silly and doesn't make sense with whatever else is going on. And then we gotta call it the, the something blues. Yeah, which I didn't do, but we'll do that. I got the Dennis Blues. I got the Dennis Blues. Oh, yeah. So what's our blues going to be? I'll just riff. That's what... I assume you're sort of pent up in your place. Just like I am. I go to the grocery store sometimes. We should go to Whole Foods. It's nice. Nice to get out. But you know. Well, I ain't been to the lake since that order. Well, I ain't been to the lake since that order. Yeah, I'm feeling like I want a suntan. I got the lake blue. And the sun isn't even out, so we just need that. First of all, we need just the sun. See, I will just keep making them up. Uh, what's something, Dennis, what's something that you are feeling the blues about? 
podcast. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we got a couple here. We got a couple, yeah. Um, well, I've been so hungry since I've run out of snacks. Yeah, I've been so hungry since I've run out of snacks. Well, we got lots of food, but I don't want to have any of it. I just want some snacks. I got the snack blues. And I've been so lonely since I can't see my friends. I feel so lonely in my phone because I can't see no friends. It's very sad, I know. Well, I'm feeling so lonely. I got the the quarantine blues. Oh yeah, a good idea. I just got a, a, a. It's like a voice just talked into my ear and said, "What are some things we can do when we're feeling so lonely and we can't really see our friends?" Well, we're gonna make up a song about it right now. <laughs> In a different key, because I'm so, I'm a little sick of that. If you've got an idea in there, uh, or if you've got an idea of what you can do that you might want to share with others who might be struggling with this, go ahead and put it in that comment box. Get real on Tim and Tuesday here. I can't see my friends, and it makes me so lonely. I want to see my friends, I don't want to be alone, don't want to be the only one here. What can I do? Pass the time I can video chat friends if it's available. That's one option I have. I can draw pictures of my friends or things I like to do or just doodles. Doodle do 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 doodles. I can make some music. On my guitar or my pots and pans. Sorry, mom and dad or moms and dads. I didn't mean to inspire your kids to play on the pots and pans. What else can I do? I can't take up cooking or knitting, find a hobby. Coin collecting. I can do portraits of sand dollars and starfish. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm so lonely. But I won't always be this way. I'm not always gonna feel lonely. Tomorrow I might feel something else, like angry or sad, or even possibly happy. Emotions are just things we experience. We walk through them, but they're valuable. They pass, they come and go. That's how it goes. Emotion. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> cool. So we we definitely ran out of time. We were going to do. I bought me a cat, but we'd already done that before. So if you're tuning in for the first time, we did a cat a uh, cat song um, in the first episode, and it was a blast. I thought about bringing that one back, but many of you remember that one already. So. Woohoo! Huh? Oh yeah, we got time. We got time 
for, you know, I don't know if you've seen like YouTubers and stuff, sometimes they put commercials in their things. So that's what we're gonna do. Dennis, do you know what day it is? You, yeah, he does. He does. That's right. It's Giving Tuesday now. A day of global giving uh, in response to the to the uh, pandemic, the COVID nineteen pandemic. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is a sign. I saw the sign, and what it says is Giving Tuesday now. It's got a little picture of an Earth. This is actually their logo, the official Giving Now Giving Tuesday Now logo with a little heart. Um, Dennis is trying to like help me out. Okay. And there's a hashtag on here. It says hashtag um, Tuesday, Giving Tuesday Now, and hashtag Together We Can. Sorry, I thought I remembered exactly what those were. And there's a little link for our website at the bottom if you want to support us. Donations made today will help us continue to provide therapy to everyone who needs it right now. And lots of people need our support now more than ever. Your gifts also help us to create programs just like this one. So please join us in this global day of giving and make a gift now at itachicago.org slash giving Tuesday now. Again, that's itachicago.org slash giving Tuesday now. Um, I encourage an ITA staff member uh, to put that in the comments now so that it is available in multiple ways. You can see it, um, I, you just heard it, and you can also read it. So. We appreciate any support you can offer, right, Dennis? And on that note, no pun intended, we are going to sing goodbye. Hope you'll tune in next week. I hope you'll find some some way to pass the time, um, some way to connect, be together with those people that you care about, whether it's like this or people you live with in your home. Have a good week, and we'll, we'll, we'll tune in again here next Tuesday at 3 o'clock. But now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you soon, really soon. But it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to Brad. Goodbye to me and Dennis. Goodbye to Jessica. Goodbye to Akash. Also, hello, Akash. Goodbye to Julie, and Doug, and Frankie. Goodbye to Jenny and Christopher. Goodbye, Amanda. Bye, Lucy and Charlotte. Thanks for tuning in again. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you soon. Really soon. But it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in one week. Have a good week. Take care for now. Ciao for now.